Howdy, 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 Diz Jabbers. Christian's back with episode number six of Diz Jabbers Chat. It is my proud pleasure and an honor even to welcome my guests tonight. My guests are some amazing vloggers. They do family vlogs. They do it all. Parks. They do gift swaps. They do all kinds of... I don't even want to waste your time. I want to let them tell you about what they do. Jabbers, that's for you. So I'm going to bring them in. This is the Adamson crew. Hey, Alicia up, and up, Kenny, up. welcome to Diz Jabbers chat. We are so happy to have you here. What thank I'm you, going to you. do now is I'm going to throw up their logo right there. Over, and over. as you guys can see, check that out. You can just see by the logo. They're family. They're family friendly. You guys, <laughs> they are an amazing, amazing group of vloggers that I came in contact with when they needed, I think it was their 400th, right? Was it your 400th? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They were at 399 and I'm sitting there and I'm like, all right, I'm going to give them their 400th. I got on there, 400 subscriber, message them right away. I was like, hey, I'm number 400. <laughs> And then Alicia comes back and she's like, oh, that's awesome. We're going to send you something, right? Okay, so I'm sitting here it. It, two months ago. What? <laughs> <laughs> you said you sent it or not? No, I'm getting ready to send it's it. It's on the way. And, and, but the, yeah, the check's in the mail. I've heard that one. But you know what else? <laughs> they, they actually won my Diz Jabbers challenge. And if they ask me right now where their gift and their prize is, it's the same <clears> answer. <throat> It's on its way very, very soon. What, what did we, you say? We understand. <laughs> I think we have a bad connection. So oh, um, we're going to skip okay. that whole part. <laughs> no, but we understand. We know that life happens and we are both simpatico with that. And I guarantee once we get our gifts, it's going to be amazing. Oh, you're kidding me, right? They're thinking up here. So, look what I got. Always thinking. You got to promote. You got to plug. You got to grind. You got to pound that pavement. The Adamson crew sent me a t-shirt. Dude, and they have their t-shirt wrapped up in plastic and everything. Get that in the mail. Too. I'll, get, I'll get it in the mail soon, I promise. I know. Me too. I got you right there. All right, Diz Jabbers. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I'm going to let them tell you who they are. Oh, snap. Alicia and Kenny are already doing it. Maybe I should let them host the show. Let them take over. It's the Diz Jabber 71 Adamson crew takeover. All right. So our first question tonight is, who are you? Who is the Adamson crew? I want to hear about your like quest. When did you guys decide to become vloggers? When did you guys say, you know what, this is what we want to do. And just tell us a little bit about your channel. Okay. So our channel is all about family fun. And we decided to do this because first of all, our daughter, our daughter watches YouTube. 
We wanted to make sure that she was watching wholesome videos, not just anything out there, um, not just any ad that comes across the screen. But we wanted her to do some learning. We wanted her to see some families that are actually all together and having fun. It's hard to do nowadays. Right. And just enjoying life. But we also had on this side all of our friends, all of our families. We used to be real strong on Facebook and we still are, but they were like, post, post, post. We love seeing your family do this. We love seeing your family go here. Yeah. And we got a couple of offers to go to certain museums and we were just like, you know what? We can put two and two together and we can capture our memories at the same time and just have a good time with our kids and build those memories there. And so we started our YouTube channel and it's, it's been full force since then. So we also encourage other people. We want our channel to just encourage other families to get out there, spend time together. Our our motto is back to basics. Mm -hmm. So hashtag B2B and go back to the basics of just having simple fun. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money to have fun. You don't have to have a big crowd to have fun. You don't have to even go anywhere. You can go in your backyard. You can go down the street to a festival, just whatever. But make sure it's with your family, those loved ones that, you know, we're never promised tomorrow. We don't know. So wrap your arms around them and just enjoy and engage. Yep. Yep. I know it. <laughs> I know it, man. You're going to make me cry tonight. Don't do it. Don't oh, cry. Man. Don't cry. And the thing is, guys, so a couple of vlogs I've been watching of theirs, I've been doing my research, and there was two vlogs that stand out right now. Well, no, three. The first one is the first the first time I fell in love with your channel. Alicia, you guys are on the people mover. And then you're sitting there, right? You're like, this is the people mover, I guess. And you're looking around like you had no clue. And I guess this is. It's called like the people mover, maybe? Keeping your hands inside the takes you, it kind of takes you around this part of the park. And poor Kenny's over there like, yeah, I think it is. It's going to take us here and there. Like, Kenny knew more than you did on that one. That, that, one was, that was the first time I was like, oh, these people are great. They're going to, like, go on rides and not even know what they're about. Right. Like, this is awesome. <laughs> no, but you guys know your stuff. I, I stand corrected on that. <laughs> and then the, the next one is a more recent vlog where you guys put out a challenge and you were like, or a tag video more so. And you were like, listen. We're going to do this challenge and it's called the weird food combo challenge. So I was just like, as soon as I saw that, I knew I, there was a calling from God for me to throw down into Facebook right there. And I was like, Hey, tuna. Now wait for it. Tuna and milk. The, the key word in there is yeah. and <laughs> so these insane maniacs the adam synchro yeah 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 they put the tuna in the milk like cereal (laughs) and eating it like soup we have all of this stuff here the ice cream the soy sauce you know that might work i can't get past all i'm smelling is tuna i don't know what it's i think it's gonna be gonna be tuna and milk this jabber oh we love you buddy for you Diz. this is for you Diz jabber also known as our friend christian so what's first? You ready to get started? I'm ready. All right. What's what? Let's go ahead and do di- this jabber because, <sighs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's gonna be tuna and milk. So let me get the, let me grab the milk. <sighs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this at the same time, but we in this together. Tuna and milk. Hold on, let me get some milk. Okay, here's my tuna. A little bit of milk. All right, here we go. <laughs> Mother God. So it tastes like tuna and milk. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm not even a tuna eater, really. Help it go down. Help it go down. This jabbers, that's for you. I've never seen something like that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia's like, Help it go down, Lord. Oh Help my it God. Go down. Yeah. That was the worst ever. I couldn't. I couldn't. And I'm going to quote Kenny, right? Well, it tastes like uh, tuna and milk. Good God. <laughs> Good God. 
<laughs> oh man. And then the other day I saw a vlog where you were doing squats with your um with your twins. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Going, oh, yeah. He was doing squats. <laughs> I guess if Penny doesn't get a chance to work out, he's gonna use whatever oh, he- resources are around. <laughs> They love it. He's necessary. And they love it. (laughs) He's their gym. He's their jungle gym. He's their playground. Yeah. Yeah. Right when he walks through the door. I can't tell you enough how influential you guys are, I'm sure, to all the people that have followed and subscribed to you. And you guys do a little something kind of tricky, too. You put that bumper sticker. What's that thing you do with your bumper sticker? The bumper sticker on, on the back of our car? Yeah. We, well... We just put a bumper sticker on the back of the car that says follow us on uh, YouTube. Right. So it got our YouTube channel on there, our YouTube channel on there, and it says follow us. And we've actually got some people that take a picture of it and say, hey, we followed you. We see your car. And then we we'll just post that up to say people see us. So we told people if they saw our car riding around to take a picture and send it to us, you know, in our messenger or something so we can black out that tag number. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's true. But I hope they don't. I hope you didn't promise them a gift because I, I better be first before you give them a gift. You you're right the now. Only, you, listen, you're the only one. So we have to get that out to you. Like pronto. Oh, man. But everybody, listen, this this group of vloggers, the Adamson crew guys, Alicia and Kenny, I adore them. Everyone really, really needs to they deserve so many more subscribers than they have. Oh, my God. Their vlogs. Thank need, you so much. Oh, you have you have no idea. I'm all about paying it forward. You guys know that. Yeah. And oh yeah. I just want everyone to know that, like, what I say is, people are always like, Christian, you know, you deserve so much more than this. You get, you should get more views. But the thing is, we are at a disadvantage because we're not in Florida. We're not at the parks every single day, and to get those Disney views, I mean, you got to be like the big guys and be there every yeah. single day. Every and, single day. I feel like we're the grunts and we're like pounding it out and we're still making do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we're doing a great job with it. I, I I have no problem doing what I do the way I'm doing it. Would it be easier if we live there? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I could be there every day after work, going here and there, and hey, oh, well, yeah. you know what I mean? But I'm looking forward to quite possibly being in Florida when you guys are there at some point. Could you imagine that so. collab? You uh, that already be- know. I'm, I'm, I'm already calling for a Diz fam reunion. I guess I'm going to have to spearhead that. I'm ready. I know, but you know what? <laughs> that that's when it's that's when the Disney dollars needs to be. Uh, <laughs> that's that's when that hot part comes up, and everyone's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, we're all game for it." But who's paying our plane tickets? And right, all of a right, sudden, right, Alicia right. and Kenny and Christian are like, "Oh yeah, right. Uh, we'll see you guys next year at the next family reunion." <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. All right. Are you guys ready to have a little fun? Let's go. We're ready. We're ready. All right. We are going to start with something I like to call Don't Quote Me. This is called Don't Quote Me, and I hope you guys know your Disney songs. Oh, Jesus. I'm not, not, oh, <laughs> I'm not going to ask you to sing them. Don't worry, Kenny. Kenny's not going to be up there. Blah. Yeah, Kenny's probably sing. like, Kenny, sing. this is going to be harder than squatting 2,000 pounds, my man. You better I'm be ready hard. for it. He's like, oh, snap. <laughs> I, oh, Alicia, I didn't uh, put the weights away. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> Here we go. I'm, I'm going to put a quote. I'm going to put a song lyric up there. Now, okay. if you need some help, I can tell you what it's from. I can also tell you that this song lyric is incorrect. I need you to correct it for me. Okay. All right. Here we go. Do you need to know the movie? Princess and the Frog. You got that. No, it's, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? All my dreams. What do you know what it should be? I remember. Dreams can't come true. Mm. Not yet. Um 
I'm going to give you a little hint. There's two mistakes in that first line. Kenny's like, I want to go work out. Alicia, let me go work out. <laughs> this is brain exercise. So all mine shouldn't, all my shouldn't be there, right? Nope. That's not it. That's no. Mama shouldn't be there either. Dad. Yeah, I remember. Daddy told Daddy me. Told me. Uh, to an F. Fairy tales. Yes, they got a fairy tales can come <laughs> true. You gotta make them happen. It all depends on you. Depends on you. Go ahead. So, so I, I reach, So I pray real hard each every. No, I pray. Did she pray? <laughs> Wait a minute. Now I'm singing it. So I. Work. Yes. So I work real hard and each and every day. Every day. Now things. No, not that. Doesn't things. sound right, right? <laughs> oh gosh! Why do you give us this long one? <laughs> so I pray real. No. So I work real hard. <gasps> Go ahead. So I work real hard each and every day. Oh my gosh! All right. Don't worry about that. Let's go to the next one. But you got almost all of it correct. But that last line, I'm gonna let you do some homework on that one. Oh man! Okay. All right, next. Oh, that was that was the easy one. No, that was not the easy one. That was, well, it might have been the easy one. All right. Yeah, it is. She's like, yeah, it is. Here we go. Next one. You're just gonna have to cut it off at each and every day. Yeah. This is from Moana. Oh. Kenny's like, I don't know music, my dude. Why are you doing this to me? You're welcome. I know it's a lot. The hair. The bod. There you go. The bod. When you're staring Please. at a demigod, what can I say except you're welcome? You're welcome. For the tides, the sun, the sky. So it's the last line. What's the last line? Something's wrong with it. Yeah, so <laughs> you guys are hitting me not right now. Not kind of guy. No, it's not kind of guy. I'm just an ordinary guy. No, demigod. <laughs> oh, oh god. Yeah. Oh. Don't don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. It's okay. You're welcome. Oh, why are you saying it? Oh Kenny's God. like, I oh, knew it, but I Alicia, I'm going to let Alicia, Alicia go. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> Lion King. Come on. Kenny, you have to know this. Uh, Come on. When I was just a... When he was a young warthog, when I was a young warthog, he found his gas lacked a certain appeal. He would clear the. You clear. Uh, Come on. Not room. Come on. Uh, is it desert? Oh, you're no. close. Another word for desert. Uh, what's another word for desert? S starts with an S. Man? No, no. <laughs> Every the the so, so far the um. Gosh. Sahara? No. No, not Sahara. Oh, you're close. Oh, it's getting you're getting closer. Did I say safari? No, no, it's not safari. Not safari. Don't tell us. Hold on. Hold I was on. about to tell you. I was about Don't to tell you. She was like, oh, you're the, sit down. The, we hear this every, every single time. day. Every day. Every single Are you day. Serious? Every single day. You might not want to say that out loud now because this is being all recorded. Savannah. 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 What? What? Savannah. Savannah. He would clear the savannah after every meal. Yeah. I'm a savannah. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't tell us. See, see, I just have to play it. Play it. All right. Yeah, but you know what? Your kids have been playing it and playing it, and you guys still couldn't get it. <laughs> Because it plays so much, it's just, it's just, because we Listen, that's probably, today. that's probably when I catch one of those five minute naps. 
Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got two more. You got two more. Let's yeah. see if you guys could, you know, redeem yourself uh, on this one. I hope you know Alice in Wonderland. No. Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> this might make sense to you, though. If you do, you know the unbirthday song? No. Very merry. I don't know Alice in Wonderland like that. No, it's kind of like you know the people mover, right? Yes. Yeah, kind of like that. Yes. <laughs> All right. So you know of it. You know of it. I'm going to move slide on this one then. But I'm not going to tell you the answer. So you're oh, going to have to sorry about that. And then the last one. Look, this is going to be one of his trivia questions one day, and I'm going to be like, oh, man. I hope you guys you know Beauty and the Beast. You have to know Beauty and the Beast. Somewhat. No, this isn't Beauty and the Beast, though. I was waiting for you to see if you guys would catch that. This is Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Kenny's like, Christian, oh. killing us, man. <laughs> yes, sir, we pride ourselves on service. You're the boss, the king. All right. No. <laughs> Alicia Not knows something's up with this. Alicia yeah. knows. Yep. Yes, sir. It's, we... it's, it's the um, this is a genie song. Yep. <laughs> That's about all I know. I, I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you credit for the genie song. <laughs> yes, sir. We pride ourselves on service. You're the boss, the king. The the uh, boss, the king, the. Do we get funny points? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Now that's funny. Mm -hmm. All right. So you know what? This one was a tough one. Bless. You're the boss, yeah. the king, the Shah. Oh, yeah, that was on the tip of my tongue. I knew it. <laughs> no, <not> really. no. <laughs> oh man, this the blacking part down at the bottom. I'm sure I'm getting something, some kind of hand gestures or something like this guy sucks, man. <laughs> they, not at all. Make it your dish. How all right. So you know what? It's all good. You guys aren't the only ones who have not done as well as, you know, you think you might have. <laughs> when you see other episodes, you're going to be like, how did they not know that? That fam, they don't know anything about Disney. And then you're going to come on. You're going to be like, <laughs> yeah, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was awesome. So now we're going to have a little bit more fun with the Diz Jabbers Fab Five Challenge, the couples edition. So, oh look, they're looking mm -hmm. at each other. Oh no, and we gotta see with this couple's edition. You know, you put a twist on everything. I do. <laughs> so what I'm going to need now is I'm going. Well, here, let me explain what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to ask each of you five of your favorite things. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm not going to tell you what they are yet. So one of you will leave the room. Actually, you know what? Neither of you have to leave the room as long as you guys are both writing without each other seeing. Gotcha. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to make one through five on your paper, on your paper right there. And let's see how well you guys know each other. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Kenny's like, dude, you know, I, I want to sleep in the bed tonight. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, once I ask each of you for your favorites, then we're going to compare and see who knows who better. So Kenny and Alicia. So when I say favorite park, what do you think your spouse would say? What is your favorite Disney park? So, Kenny, you have to write down what you think Alicia's is. And, Alicia, you write down what you think Kenny's is. Okay. Favorite park. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to use your camera. Oh. Hey, I don't want any Morse code knocking on the table, grabbing his leg. Come on. Don't you worry. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. Next one. What do you think the other's favorite ride is in all of Disney World? Favorite okay. ride. Oh, look, Kenny's like, oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> I should listen more when you're talking, Alicia. <laughs> uh. Don't make it harder than what it is. Oh, little, little right. I'll let that one slide. All right. So we have favorite park, favorite ride. Now, what do you think 
the other one's favorite song is Disney song. Disney song. Yep. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> this is great. I wish I had a snapshot of you two like now, both looking up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Um. This is why I love doing what I do. Oh. Disney song. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. All right. The next one is what is the other's favorite Disney movie? Disney movie? Yeah. Oh, man. I can't believe you guys are like, like oh, I wonder. Oh, man. But you know what? I might pick one. My, and TT might be like, you, you, do you even know me? Do you live in this house? She's looking at her ass. She's like, oh boy. Look, he's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I got it. I got this. Ah. And then the last one. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Ready. Alicia, you good? Yeah. Okay. And now I need favorite character. What is the other's favorite Disney character? Oh, Alicia's eyes just blew up. I can't wait to hear these answers and compare them. I can't wait. I know I got one right. All right. All right. He's like, I got one right. That's my name, Kenny. <laughs> Are you ready now? Yeah. Ready. All right. So when the first question was favorite park, Kenny, what did you say Alicia's was? Magic Kingdom. Alicia, is he right? Magic Kingdom. All right. That's yeah. good. <laughs> oh, wait. Alicia, what did you say about Kenny's? Animal Kingdom. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> Wow, they are, they are right here on the first question. That's good. That's good. You guys, and you guys are the one guinea pigs right. right now. I haven't done the couples edition of this yet. Of oh, this yet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, here we go. Favorite ride. This time we'll start with Alicia. What did you say about Kenny's favorite ride? What did I say? Oh, Space Mountain. Kenny, is it right? That was, yeah, yeah, that was right. Okay. <laughs> I put the people mover. I, I, I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to hear what she is. He right? No, <laughs> definitely not. What's your favorite ride? Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Oh, I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> oh, I, I can tell right now. This when the when the camera goes off, she's gonna be like, "You knew it was Peter Pan. You knew it." Was Peter Pan. <laughs> All right, we'll go back to Kenny on this one. So, Kenny, what is Alicia's favorite Disney song? Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I didn't know Mickey was a Mickey Mouse. Like that's the only thing that came to mind. Huh? <laughs> out of Mickey all the Mouse. Disney songs, out of all the Disney songs, he, he picks Mickey. Mouse. All right, Alicia, that's, what do you got? Okay. Well, what is it? It's, it's the circle of life. She's and right. I do it. I do it throughout the whole house. I have my kids singing with me. I hold up the babies in the air. <laughs> he's hating me right now, but he's like, oh, okay. But I, but he don't even have a favorite song. I don't know. I'm a sport. I'm a sport. But so, I do. I do like the circle of life. All right. Well, well, I didn't put that. I put just can't wait to be king. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> oh, guys, in Kenny's, def in Kenny's defense, he just got over a sickness. He's been sick. So we're going <laughs> to no. yeah, let him go. We're going to let him slide. All right. Favorite movie. Alicia, what was? What do you think Kenny's favorite movie is? The New Lion King. New Lion King. Uh-oh. Kenny, is she right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> three times a day. <laughs> not, not the cartoon. The new one. All right. Yeah. Now, what did but you pick for her? I put the Lion King. I I put the Lion King. It's not my favorite movie. Lion King. <laughs> All right, Alicia, what is it? Peter Pan. I knew it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, I'm sleeping he, on the couch listen, tonight. Listen, he could have got that just with a hint. He knows me that well. He could have got that. Wait, wait. He the doesn't nature. know you that well. What are you saying? <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently not. <laughs> All right, now you could totally redeem yourself here with character. God, please say Peter Pan. <laughs> so, if he don't get the character, then he is definitely Ooh, in the doghouse. There's divorce papers being drawn up. <laughs> He's like, oh wow, right? 
All right. So I definitely want to start with Kenny on this. I have to. All right. Tinkerbell. All right. First, it looks like Stinkerbell because the five looks like an S. All right. We'll go with Stinkerbell. <laughs> but yeah, Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. The capital letters. Tinkerbell. Right. I think he has it right. Yeah. Now, Alicia, let's let's make let's let's do it. What is, what's Kenny's? Listen, he doesn't have one. I <gasps> like at all. <laughs> we don't have one. <laughs> Peter Pan is not there. <laughs> Peter Pan is. Okay, so who is it? Is it because he wears a tight green tight? I'm I'm not the biggest Peter Pan fan. <laughs> Just say that. <laughs> I don't know how the live stream or the Diz Jabbers chat got to be all about Peter Pan tonight, but hey, <laughs> I'll take what I can get, guys. What? Who oh. is it? It's not Peter Pan. <laughs> is it you. Mickey Mouse? Goofy? Donald Duck? Oh, Donald Duck. Uh, yeah. That was my second guess, Donald, Donald Duck. Donald Duck's my man. <laughs> he does. He does like Donald Duck. He all has right. a couple of pictures with him anywhere we go, and he's Donald's there. I'm there. Starstruck. Okay. <laughs> this is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. State. <laughs> Now we're going to move on to some questions. So this is that called Five Questions with Christian. Oh. Now these questions are some serious questions. I need you guys to give it about a minute thought for each one. And uh, just answer with your heart. And that's all you have to do. And it's a lot of fun. So here we go. So I actually, on my very first episode, asked the same question to Little Big Blogs. And their answers were yeah. so hysterical. I do, we love them. And their answers were so hysterical that I felt like I had to wait till, wait till another couple to get this question out there again. Okay. So, now, I didn't know if you heard this, but they are, they are coming up with an eighth dwarf uh, for the new Snow White movie. They're really not. They're really not. All right, so they're coming up. I don't want Disney coming after me. <laughs> they're coming up with an eighth dwarf. And I need you guys, if... Kenny, if Alicia was that eighth dwarf, what would her name be and why? And Alicia, oh shoot, if Kenny was the eighth dwarf, what would his name be and why? Spunky. What? The eighth dwarf would be Spunky. Spunky. Okay. All right. So why Spunky? I think I know the answer, but go on. Well, Spunky because Spunky is the life. Look at her face. She's like, you better All get right. the shirt. She's the life of the Spunky is the life of the party. Okay, Spunky, spunky can be all Spunky <laughs> Spunky Dwarf can be all by herself and be all right. Spunky Spunky Dwarf. Spunky the Dwarf. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that she's short or anything like that, but you know. Wow, but guys, short people are okay too. I promise. She is actually. She is. What she is. He's like, yeah, she is. All right, now, Alicia, what would Kenny's name be? Mr. Chillax. Chillax. Chillax the dwarf? Chillax yes, the dwarf. Mr. Chillax the dwarf. Oh, my because gosh. I am, we, we are definitely made for each other because I'm on this side of the world, he's on this side of the world. And what I mean by that is I'm always the one, I'm, I'm more, I'm loud. Mm -hmm. I, um, I'm more energetic. Okay. Not that he doesn't have fun or anything like that. I'm just more out there. And he 
can keep me calm. So when I do get upset or if I'm out and about, I look at him and it's an automatic chill phase. But this is the dude that this is the only one that can calm Spunky down. <laughs> Other than that, I'm going straight, straight ham on folks. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. But no, he calms me. We 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 definitely balance each other out because I'm just duh, 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 duh. but let me tell you this though, in high school, in high school, this dude was the one that was just Mr. All eyes on me. I mean, he was very popular. All eyes was on him and everything wow. like that. I had a little crush on him. I told him he didn't pay me any attention. So some years, yeah, 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 yeah. Some years had to go by before he felt, before he realized he was sleeping on this chick right here. So now, so, you know. So we, so we have a balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. have a real good balance. balance you know what? That That is a real good balance. So uh, you're saying that you're high school sweethearts, yeah? Kind of, kind of, kind of. All right. So after high school kind of ended. After high so school, after yeah. School. After high school ended, I went off to college. Oh. And so I went away from the city, off to college. And then I went into grad school. And then when I came actually back home, we went to this party. And he ended up being at the same party that I was at. And I was like, wait a minute. Hey, is that kitty from high school? And then from then, that was it. Oh, now man. We're here. That's, see, that's a real story right there. Like, real people, guys. This family is the real deal. This family is legit awesome. I, I can't say enough about them. I really can't. So you have to go subscribe, like, follow, whatever you have to do with the Adamson crew. But don't forget, don't be taking pictures of their license plate and stuff like that. <laughs> right, right, right. You got to X that out. You are allowed to have one superpower. Now, do you, for one hour only, I need to know if you would choose flight or invisibility and why you would choose that superpower. You want to go? I would choose invisibility. <laughs> I want to know why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can be somewhere. Right. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I just pick it. I don't, know, I don't know. I can be somewhere and you would know it. I don't, I don't know. Uh, it'd be invisibility. Just, right. so, just, so I can, just so I can see what is said and what is done when I'm not there. So you want oh. to be you want to be yeah, creepy? Yeah, yeah, I want to be creepy. Yeah, spot. <laughs> what do you want to be? I would do, listen, I'm going to go with individual. Um, what is the word? <laughs> Invisible. Invisibility. <laughs> Invisibility. I'm going to go with that okay. simply because <clears throat> mommy need a break. Period. Okay, okay, that would be my hour break. Every time when I come in the house, I love my kids and I love my big, big, big baby. But I need a break sometimes. But when I walk in that door, it's like, mommy, 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 mommy. Hey, babe, hey, babe, 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 babe. <laughs> mommy, mommy, babe, babe. Mommy, mommy, babe, babe. If I could turn that invisible light on right then. Right. Just go, go somewhere and sit down. That would be it for an hour. For an hour. And then I, can, then I come back and y'all can give me all the hugs and love and everything you want. You know, that sounds great. I wish I could do that all day at school. Just when I walk into the teacher, done, out, 3.30 yeah. comes around, I'm back. All right, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if that's going to fly too well with the superintendent of the school. Right. I think I'm right. 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 It's only for an hour. That's it. Just an hour. <laughs> so number three, Adamson crew, you were chosen to spend the night in that royal suite in Cinderella's castle in Walt Disney World. I come true. All right, right? Overnight, bells and whistles. You are only allowed to invite five people. Okay, five people. Mm. I'd like to know who you would invite. Mm. Only five. Only five. This is between, me. he don't get five and I get five. It's five together, right? Five together. That's five together. Now, granted, granted, you bring your kids are automatically go kids yes. are automatic. Yeah. I, I want to hear okay. who you take after the kids. <clears throat> oh, look. Eventually. She's going through the phone contacts right now. Oh, wait, I got to take this one. Definitely those two. Oh, okay. Out of these five, well, I would pick my twin brother and my sister. 
Okay. I'm going to pick my mom and my dad for sure. Okay. And God. Is God the fifth one? Is he the co-pilot? <laughs> he don't need to be in that room with us. <laughs> Yeah, we got one more. Let's see. She's done. <laughs> Who would you think? Oh, um, probably Amanda. Probably Amanda. Amanda, yeah, Amanda is a huge Disney fan. Yes. So that's my youngest sister. Okay. So, yeah, Amanda would be the one, the fifth one. Okay. Number four. Now, this is a tough one. How much money, how much money would it take for someone to tell you you can never set foot in a Disney park again for the rest of your life? How much money? Mm -hmm. He would have a price on it. But there's no price? No, he would he he would take a price. He would take amount of money. I just want to know how much would it take? It won't take no money. You can't you can't buy my Disney. So for yeah, for her for me, I'm saying for me, you can't buy my Disney. He'll so, so he might listen, take listen. a price so for it. For her, priceless. Priceless. For me, I married into priceless. So there wouldn't be any amount of money. <laughs> any amount of money not to set foot in Disney again. <laughs> Man. But you know what? I say the same thing. Although Oh, one billion dollars. I'll build my own darn Disney World. I'll tell you right. <laughs> that is a, that's that's a good point. point. You give me a billion dollars. I, I, you know what? I don't care. I'll name him Mike. Hey, come here, Mike. I have Mike Mouse walking around. I have no ears. Have whiskers on this side and like a. Like a <laughs> I, I don't know. I would have my own theme park going on there. You got a point. All right. One more question, and I really like this question. Hopefully, you guys have thought about this. Everybody in the world always has an idea for a really good app. Like, oh, I should make an app that finds the cleanest toilet in Disney World. Or I want to make an app that finds the closest, um, you know, the closest garbage can. What is your idea of an app? Mm -hmm. What would be your idea? For Disney? It doesn't have to be Disney. It could be anything. Uh... What's something that would make everyone's life easier? Make your life easier? Just your idea. What is everyone has a good idea for an app? What's yours? Okay, for me, I wish I had an app I could turn on that would go to work for me for eight hours. <laughs> That's a robot. <laughs> That's a robot. Yeah, yeah. Maybe something like that where I can I can be home with my family or doing whatever it is that I want to do while I turn on that app. And it goes to work for me. It works for the eight hours and then comes home. Or I can turn it off at that point and the work is done. Man, I, I, I'll tell you right now, that would prob probably be the most downloaded app in the world. <laughs> no one would be anywhere. They'd all be home. Everyone would be just never be at work. I think the world might, the, might be chaotic. Oh. That, that app would be a winner. It would be. What do you think? <laughs> I know Alicia's app. got You got something good. I know, Alicia. Come on. No, 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 no. My app in my line of work, though, most of our most of my work is done through certain apps. So, I mean, I, I got it OK there. But I do wish there was an app where I could just go. I could type on the uh, PP gas station, twenty five dollars and go pull up to the paint. It fills my car up and I go. I cannot stand doing I cannot stand getting out and doing gas anywhere. See, I don't like it. And. That is so that's what New Jersey's all about. We have full serve. We don't get out of the car. Yeah. But see, we used to do that down in the South. They used to have someone that sat right there by the gas um, tank. Yeah. When you pull up, they'll say how much you give them a little money. They put it in your car. They say thank you. And you keep going. Now I have to get out. And if the tank don't work, I have to go inside to the cash register and the cashier and then come back out and do this. Yeah, I just want to say $25, put it in this car, and keep it moving. Diz Jabbers, we had some great, great answers tonight. Now, Kenny, he wants a robot app. You got Alicia, doesn't want to pump her gas anymore. They just, you know what? It's all good. It's all good in the hood here, guys. I love the Adamson crew, and 
I don't know how much love I'm going to get back on this next challenge. Is Jabbers? I know the time is dwindling down, but we have a few more rounds to go. So Let's why go. don't we show the Adamsons what the Disney over under is? So when you hear over under, you're not sure what to think. Basically, what I'm telling you is it's either overrated or underrated. I'm going to give you a topic like hotels or parks or an actual park. Okay. I want you to tell me what the most overrated thing there is, in your opinion, what, what the most underrated thing there is. Okay. All right. I'm going to click on the first one. And I would like you to tell me, each of you, in the Magic Kingdom, what's the most overrated thing and the most underrated thing? Okay, something small. What is overrated is the price of water. Water. Water was like, I don't know, $4 for a bottle of water. <laughs> um, and underrated? Something that people should show more love to. It doesn't get enough love. Uh, I'm going to say the progress, the carousel of progress. Oh, that was pretty cool. That was okay. pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. If you pay really close attention to all the details that they put in there, yeah. from where we came to where we are now, you know, they even have the visual um, game and all of that kind of stuff that's going on. And then the talk to, um, what is it, speak and the, the stove, you yeah. know, react to it or whatever, the digital stuff there. I mean, if you pay real close attention to it, it's like, wow, this is where our world is, you know, now. Right. So I think it's underrated. Okay. I mean, I know kids probably wouldn't understand it a little bit, maybe, yeah. but believe it or not, Morgan, that was one of Morgan's favorite things in Magic Kingdom to do. She wanted to go on it a couple of times because she thought it was neat to see, you know, what happened when mom and dad was her age to now yeah. where she is, where she came in. She came in into this digital world. So right. she's like, this is what I know. But y'all used to do that. Yeah. yeah. But what's crazy, though, is that now we're caught up to that. I feel like we've surpassed that. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I mean, like Alexa, do this. You know what I mean? And all this, like now, all that's we have doorbells that tell us who's at the door. Like you have right. a camera, and hey, who, I'm not answering the door. Oh no, I, I know that person. Right, 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 right. You know, Kenny, do you agree? Kenny said you're agreeing with the whole Carousel of Progress. I do agree because I don't think in, a, enough people know that it's there or what's going on in it. When we were in line, you know, we went in, sat down, like and that, yeah. I mean, it was amazing. So I don't know if a lot of people know that it's there and how good it is. Because when you see the building, not many people say, oh, my God, unless you're a oh, yeah. diehard person, they're not like, I got to get on Carousel of Progress. But I, I'm like that with that thing. I, I can sit in that thing and go for hours just spinning around. Yeah. That song, I yeah. love the song. And what about Alicia? What about overrated for you? Overrated. Don't kill me for this, guys. But I think it's a small world. Oh, I think a billion people would agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just overrated. I get the whole concept that, you know, you know, we are the world. But yeah, it's a little All you youngins would not understand that. All you youngins yeah. would not get the world thing. <laughs> I agree, and I'm scared of little like little things, like the little creatures. They, the hands. <laughs> <laughs> no way. All right, why don't we take a, a little walk along the wild side and hit the restaurants? What is the most overrated and underrated restaurant in all of Disney World? What do you think? Places you've eaten okay. at that you're like, I would never go there again, and places you're like, this was really good. I want to try this place again. Not many people go here. I think T Rex is overrated. I've been there a lot, and I agree. Yes, I think it's over, overrated. And believe it or not, I think, well, I don't know. I don't know um, if people uh, agree with me um, on under on underrated or whatever, but I, I do, what is that place called? Oh, my God. Um, it's Tony's. It's Tony's with the hot dogs, right? Casey's. 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 Casey's with the hot dog. Yeah. But I, I don't know if it's underrated. I would say it's underrated? I would say I would definitely see, say T Rex is overrated. First of all, the prices are insane, and second, 
it's so loud in there when those meteor showers go off. You can't even talk to your family. You're like, it's like too much coming in at you at once. Like too too much much information. Yes. So definitely, I would agree with you on that. Underrated Casey's. Casey's is definitely has probably, if not the best, probably in the top five of the best hot dogs in the parks. Yes. And then they have like, I don't know if you guys have been watching other vloggers and stuff. I don't want to mention any names, but like sometimes during the times when we, when we can't get there during like the non, you know, the Mm -hmm. non seasonal hours or whatever, like they have like during that hot dog month, a different hot dog every single day. Then they have one with tater tots on it. They have the one that's loaded with this. Then they have the two foot law. Who knew? Who I knew? I, I loved it. And, and I could actually split the hot dog with, not with him. He can eat the whole hot dog. <laughs> said, but I have, to, I can split it with my kids though. So I, I think it's a little underrated. I think people actually go right by it, you know, cause you're so anxious to get it through the park and get, and it's right there in the front. So you just go right by it and don't even, unless you've been told that, it, you know, it's sitting right here to your left when you go in and da da da. Yeah. yeah. All right, Kenny. Do you know your restaurant's name? So, <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking about Chef Mickey. Oh. Um, oh wait, I need to hear if it's if I'm gonna get the over or under on this one. Go ahead, babe. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna put you on the couch for it. I mean, so <laughs> I liked it though. You know, the experience. The, the experience. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you would call it over or underrated. I had a good time, so I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's overrated. I don't. So, but this is your opinion. Whatever you want, whatever you think. Overrated. Oh, I mean, okay. So I guess it might be a little overrated. <laughs> but the whole thing is, I mean, you have starting five, you know, all the, the, the fab five characters come up. They, you know, meet and greet everybody and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I had a good time, but it, I, it might be a little, little overrated. I mean, it's, people are nice, you know, management's nice. <laughs> so are you saying that the is the food worth $65 a person? No, okay, so maybe, maybe no, okay, so yeah, now we hit something. The food was yeah, yeah. the food was okay. I mean I mean there's a lot of different varieties, but I mean it was okay. It was okay. So I guess it I guess yeah, definitely overrated because the food Basically, was you're paying for the interaction with the with the bad five. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. That's what it is. And they do, and in their defense, I feel like they spend a good amount of time if you have kids there. And mm-hmm. many times I've gone with just my wife and even just us like as adults. But you guys know me. I'll interact with whoever or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like I've seen them actually like, you know, with like people that are just like an older couple sitting there. They'll sit down next to them. Like they really, really get into it. Great, but it's buffet food great. It's yeah, not like yeah. Yeah. five star chef great. You know what right. I mean? Right. Which overrated for the price? Yes, I, I we've been so many times. Um, but six, it, they keeps going up. Sixty five dollars. It's going to be seventy dollars, I'm sure, at some point. And that's a lot right. of money for a buffet. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'll spend mm-hmm. the hours and wait online for the Fab Five other places at this at this point. Basically, right. basically. <laughs> All right, so then if that's overrated to you, Kenny, so what's a place you're like, oh my gosh, I never knew food existed like this. This is so good. I haven't found it. Oh, no, we went to, um, what was the place with uh, all the, uh, like all the princesses and stuff? All right, so um, there's either, wait, is it um, in Epcot, Akershus? No, it wasn't Epcot. All right, all the princesses. In the, the castle? Are you talking about Bell? Yeah, Be- Bell's castle. So it's not. It's um, be our guest. Does be our guest? No, be our guest has just the. It's just Bell and Beast for dinner. 
All right, so Akershus is the one in Epcot that has the princesses, but there's also the one um, over on Boardwalk that's Ariel and Rapunzel. Where did you see all the princesses? No, no, so I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about Ed Bell's, um, and I was, I was talking about the food. I think it's okay. underrated because I thought, I thought the food was pretty be, good there. Be Our Guest is what he's talking about. Okay, Be Our so, Guest. Yes. Now, be Our Guest has two different menus. They have the lunch menu and the dinner menu. I and love the lunch. the lunch menu is fantastic. Man. Yeah, yeah, we did yeah, the lunch. Yeah. We got a couple more things, and we're going to let you guys tuck each other in for the night. <laughs> All right. Why don't we work on the lightning round? Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Jesus is right. You're going to need him. Oh, You're going to need him and God. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Kenny, I'm, I think I'm going to let you slide on this one. Ah! Unless you want to give him, unless you want him to try it. I mean, I'll try it. He's bro. game. I'm, I'm game. I'm a oh, he's game. game. That's all good then. Boom. All right, so Alicia, I'm going to keep Kenny here first. I need you to leave for a couple of minutes. Okay. All right. You tell her to take that thing out of her ear, though. She can't be listening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't hear the question. I'm going to you. All right. All right. All right. Kenny, I'm giving you two minutes. Okay. All right, two minutes. I'm gonna ask you 15 questions, and yeah. if you know the answer, you give me the answer. If you don't know the answer, say pass. Don't spend too long on an answer. Because I have two minutes. <laughs> you have two minutes for 15 questions. Okay. Okay. It goes fast because you're gonna be like, uh. So, like I said, if you don't know it, say pass, and then we'll go back to it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get ready. So, Kenny, the first question, name all seven dwarfs. Uh, dopey, uh, sneezy, grumpy, uh, pass. <laughs> <laughs> all right, spell Mickey Mouse backwards. Uh, E-S-U-O-M-Y-E-K-C-I-M. Nice. Who was the villain that was supposed to marry Anna in Frozen? What was the name of the villain? Uh, uh, pass. Okay. Ah. What does Epcot stand for? What do the letters in Epcot stand for? Pass. Okay. <laughs> what was Mickey's first cartoon? Uh, pass. Okay. The letters D V C. What does that stand for? Donald Duck cartoon. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is another name for experiment six two six? What is going on? Pass. <laughs> <laughs> how how old is Mickey Mouse? <laughs> uh, sixty five. <laughs> what is the main song from Frozen? Uh, let it go. Good. All right. What is the name of the chicken from Moana? Oh, uh, happy chicken. Okay. Chicken. <laughs> what the color? What's the color of Mickey's shoes? White. Oh my god. Okay. What are Mickey's first words? <laughs> Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> who, who wears a yellow dress and dances with a beast? Bell. All yeah. right, two minutes is up. Your two minutes is up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this you is said, hilarious for you. <laughs> you said Mickey's shoes are white. Do you ever see Mickey Mouse wear white shoes? <laughs> are they black? They're yellow. Are they oh. yellow? Oh, my God. All right, let's get Alicia in here. You can stay now, though, because you already answered him, so you can just get her to come back in. I'm glad I'm glad you married him out of love because you didn't marry him for his Disney. You did not. No, he, he, he accepts my Disney, and so that's why I married him. That's all good. I'm giving you two minutes. You have two minutes to answer 15 Disney questions. Come back. Okay? Okay. And... If you don't know the answer or if you're struggling on it, say pass. We can go back oh, to wow. it. Okay. We can go back to it. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
All right. Don't spend too long on one question. Kenny, that was Kenny's, that was his good part. He didn't spend too long on one question. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alicia, name all seven dwarfs. Sleepy, dopey, happy, doc, um, bashful, angry, uh, oh God. Not him. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, pass. I got five. Spell Mickey Mouse backwards. Oh God. E. S U O M Y E K I C No K C I M. Nice. Who was the villain that was supposed to marry Anna in Frozen? The villain that was supposed oh no, it was not Kristoff. Um sandwiches. Oh pass. What does Epcot stand for? Oh god. Oh God! It doesn't stand Pass, for that. I get that middle one wrong. What was Mickey's first cartoon? Mickey Mouse's first cartoon. Steamboat. What does DBC stand for? DBC. DBC. D as in Victor. Yeah. What's the next one? Uh, C. DBC. Disney Vacation Club. Nice. What is another name for experiment 626? Pass. Oh. How old is Mickey? Go ahead. Oh. How old is Mickey? Old is, uh, um, 90. Whoo, Kenny. What, what's the main song from Frozen? The main, let it go. What is the name of the chicken from Moana? Uh, cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> no, cuckoo. <laughs> what are the color of Mickey's shoes? Uh, um, the yellow. And what what were Mickey's first words? Howdy. Oh, All that's right, yours. Time. That was your two <laughs> minutes. That was your two minutes. Kenny actually got further than you because he was passing like a like a bandit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. So, this Jabbers, as we wrap up the night with the Adamson crew, I have one more thing. Oh, wait. Wait. There's more. There's more. more. <laughs> Adamson crew. They're like, there's more. Kenny's looking. You told me this was an hour. <laughs> like it's Yo, we, we, we partying on a Sunday with this Jabbers. I know, I know. I mean, I Listen, <laughs> we love you, too. All right. So, here's the there's more part. What I need you guys to do is I want you guys to now talk about anything you have coming up in the future. Do you have any future vlogs coming up? I want you to promote, plug, whatever you want to do. This is your time to shine right now, guys. So let's hear about it. Well, I do have one coming up. Um, <laughs> what is the, the hot hot bears, the, the nitro hot, bears? Hot gummy bear. Hot gummy bears. Wait, um, tell me. I don't know about this. What is this about? He's going to do, his, he's gonna do a challenge on our channel with his twin brother. Cause he's a twin too. So okay. his twin brother, they're gonna come over and it's it's the hottest gummy bear. It's like how many jalapenos? I think it's supposed to be as hot as nine nine hundred jalapenos, Wait, something like that. Nine hundred. Yes. Nine hundred. Yeah, pretty hot, dude. So, because I, I saw I saw something like that. I saw it somewhere, and I thought I'd give it a try. And I know my brother. He's. <laughs> I want to see the expression on his face. So. That one we have that one coming up and um I'm not in that one. <laughs> uh, somebody just, somebody gotta be here for the kids. We just had some snow Someone has to the night. be alive. Someone has to be alive. Right, right. right. So yeah. So yeah, we're gonna um continue to do our family thing because that's the whole reason why we started our channel. Um we know that there's new rules out there, new laws out there, new things that we have to abide by because we're smaller YouTubers and we have to abide by those rules. We don't want to get fined or anything like that. But our whole point of making this um YouTube channel was to make memories with our family. And so we're gonna continue to be a family channel. We're gonna continue to spread our word. We're gonna continue to go out there and encourage other families just to do our mission on um 
what we came to do YouTube for in the very beginning. Um, you are going to see some challenges between um, Kenny and I because, I mean, we need our time too. And we like to make our memories with each other as well. I mean, that's what keep a marriage strong, your communication, you that, that you have fun together and, you know, that you laugh and live. So we're going to have some videos coming up too. Um, and we're just going to mix them in there. But we are not taking off our kids. Um, from YouTube, we're going to in keep including them in what we do because we are a part of them and they are a part of us. And that's the whole reason why we did this. So uh, we want we still want other families to get out there and do what we are encouraging you to do, because that's the whole point. It's just we want to get our word out there to have fun. Get out there with your families and have fun. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <clears throat> you just spoke volumes. Honestly, just coming from a family oriented channel, a family oriented couple like you guys, I've said it before. I can't say it enough. The Adamson crew back to basics. I like seeing down home that like just, I guess, lack of better words, back to basics mm -hmm. doing vlogs because it's right here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It's not right here. Right. Right. So. And at the end of the day, what I tell myself is I tell myself a few things. I talk to myself a lot because I get the best answers. So <laughs> at the end of the day, what I do is this. I'll say, when I when this stops becoming fun, then I probably should stop. Basically. Like, when, it's, yeah. when, it, when, it, when it finally becomes like, I mean, you guys know it's a job. It's like a second yeah. full-time job, yeah. editing and making sure you're always on with the camera. Yeah. Right, right. When it stops becoming fun is when you're just like, why am I doing this anymore? Like, yeah. I'm not enjoying it. And that's what people yeah. say. Right? If you don't enjoy your job, change your career. Well, it's a lot easier to do. But when you're not making any money from something, it's a lot easier to be like, all right, I'm done. Yeah. All right. That's number yeah. one. Number two. So what's the best case scenario? So if I ever stopped or if you ever stopped, you have such a good memory package. Like you have vacation yeah. memories. These are better than vacation videos. Like, you know what I mean? Basically, yes. Like I don't have to pay any money anymore to like go send your VCR tapes, your VHS to go put on. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that kind of stuff? Like I still have VHS stuff from years ago where yeah. I'm scared to put it in a VCR. If I can even find my VCR. Cause that thing probably going to snap. I'm blowing the dust off of it. Right. <laughs> yep. So before I let them go, I guys, I got to do one more thing with the Adamsons. And this one is called the best of times, the worst of times, the ride edition. In season two, I'm going to have sound effects. This is season one right now. All right. Now I see Kenny, the best of times, worst of times. Hmm. I wonder what he's going to ask the ride edition. What is that about? Alicia saying what I need from you. I need you guys to quickly run through each park. And tell me the best ride and the worst ride in your opinion. So we're gonna start right off with Magic Kingdom. What do you think okay, the best? So he ride? hasn't been to Epcot though. Well, then you can answer for him. Have you been to Epcot? You've been around the world, maybe. You know? No. <laughs> Alicia, you're gonna be speaking for him. We got it. All right, Magic Kingdom: best ride, worst ride. But Kenny, you can do this one. You've been there. I've seen you there. Best ride, Magic Kingdom. Uh, Space Mountain. That's I your like, best ride. Yeah, I do like Space Mountain. <laughs> Space Mountain was pretty cool. That's your best ride. And the, the worst ride? There isn't a worse ride. Nah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, small world, you wouldn't even be like. So, so with small, small world, I go so far back from when I was really, really small. That's, that's one oh, of the first ride. So it hits here remember. with you. Okay. Every time I go. Every it doesn't hit up here. You're like, got it. Right, right, right. So the best ride for me, of course, is I'm, I'm just a kid at heart with Peter Pan and all of that. But that's just one of those rides that you don't want in, you don't want to get rid of. So that's the best ride for me. Taking back to my childhood memories, always getting on there and just floating through the boat and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm always going to hold it near and near. My worst ride would probably be, believe it or not, the jungle, um, the jungle ride. Jungle cruise, really? The jungle cruise, yeah. Really? I just think it's kind of like blah. It's just, I mean, for my kids, I mean, they would probably love it or whatever. I don't know if it's because I've been on it so many times, right. or you know, you know, what it, whatever the case may be. In my head, when I go through that, it's not like this. 
I'm not going to tell you that, but let's just say this. Nope. When I go through it, I automatically know what's going to happen. And, you know, I'm just like, I can get up there and probably take the mic from them and say, right. oh, no. Oh. You know, Backside of water. Cool. I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All so right. Was- Peter Pan, though, that Q line is always forever. That oh, is yeah. like the longest wait for Peter yep. Pan. Like I, we yep. barely get on it unless we do a fast pass because I'm not going to spend and then 90 minutes. They're not even fast pass. You're right. The best of times, it was the worst of times. Why don't we hit up Animal Kingdom? Best and worst ride. Best ride. I know yours. What, the, the safari? The, yeah. That could be one. The, is that what your best ride? Is it called a safari? Kilimanjaro <laughs> Safari, yes. Yes. Yeah. To me, that's the best ride. because That's number one. Okay. And the worst? The Animal Kingdom? Mm-hmm. And it doesn't have to be the worst. It's just the one that you could pass if you didn't have to go on it. Uh, yeah. Okay. My best ride would probably be <laughs> my best ride. Uh, my best fun ride would probably. Can I do two best rides? You got it, girl. Okay. So my best fun ride would probably be Mount Everest because oh. I just love Mount Everest and I love going backwards on the roller coaster. And then my best family ride would be the um, safari because I like just the mellowness of it and getting to point out all the animals, you know, to the kids and everything. It's probably the closest we're going to get to Africa right now. So, hey, why don't we go with that one? And listen, the worst ride, I mean, I'm sorry, anything in Dino Land. (laughs) What? What? (laughs) That's what any them things that go around and around and around. Yeah. What about dinosaur? Dinosaur is a really good ride. No. Morgan was spooked on that ride. So, so, so on that ride. So you have the, to you have to look at that video. The All plan right. was for Morgan and Alicia to go in because the boys were too they were just too short. So they were gonna go in, Alicia and Morgan were gonna go in, and then as soon as they came out, I was gonna go in with her. Well, as soon as they came out the door, the look in Morgan's face alone, I'm like, is everything okay? That was the worst thing for her. Yes, so yes. I, didn't, I didn't get to go. Yes. But, oh, man. Yeah. You could have been. We just would have said outside. All right. All right. Everyone has their opinion. I, I get it. I get it. I don't. I love dinosaur, though. I just, it's like a thrilling fact. Ah, okay. What about Hollywood Studios? Hollywood Studios, I really don't have a worse ride, but I do love the um, Tower of Terror. I just like the whole excitement of going up, open the door, open the window. Yeah, the window. window. It's It's like open the window. (laughs) Yeah, open the door, window, something you look out, and then they close it on you. You go up some more, open it, and then you... (laughs) Absolutely. Just that whole thing. I one like of my, it. It's one of my all-time favorites, that ride. Yes. Kenny? Hmm. Uh, where are we? We're in Hollywood Studios, my man. Studios. Give me a best ride. You don't even have to give me a worse one. Just give me a best one. What rides do they have in Hollywood Studios? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so going to stay in this. Guys, I'm leaving this in here. You have to see this, everyone. He said, what rides does Hollywood Studios have? Oh, he just lost 100 subscribers. <laughs> just for you to know, this is what you wanted. Like I said before, get you a kitty because Kitty married me knowing that he was marrying Disney. I too. know. I'm he just playing with him. I get it. Oh. Hey, I'm, I'm a team sport. I'm a good player. <laughs> I get it. Oh man! All right, so I'm gonna give you a choice. You have Rock and Roller Coaster, Tower of Terror, Star Tours. You can also do. Did you guys get into Galaxy's Edge yet? Nope. No. Wait. So wait. The rock. The Rock and Roller Coaster is that the one that shoots you straight up? That the, the, yeah, it shoots you from yeah. not, not straight up, You're but it bad. shoots you about from zero to sixty in about three seconds. Yes. So we were, yes. Yeah, we did. went on that a few years ago. Yes. Alicia didn't go, but it was me. I think it was me. And my brother-in-law went on there. That was that was the that was fun. Yeah, I do remember that one. It had the Aerosmith music playing in your ears, and yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he did go on that one. Yeah. 
I All right. So you would take that one. That's fine. That one. I'm not even going to ask you what the worst one was because you might name something from another park and people will start flipping <laughs> out. <laughs> I, might, I might just do that. <laughs> and let's end it with Epcot. Alicia, you're going to answer for both of you, right? At Epcot? Mm -hmm. Okay. The worst I would do, I would probably... Um, not many rides in Epcot. Yeah, it's not. So can I do the best the best around uh, is around the world for me? Sure, do it. Okay, the best is around the world for me simply because I'm one of those people that just like to um tap into different culture, period. I mean, I'm I'm I could do that around Atlanta, but I like to experience, see different cultures, taste different foods and things like that. So when I go to Epcot, I'm really going to go around the world anyway. Um, my worst is the um, spaceship. Uh, is it spaceship Earth or Earth? Anyway, that ball. The ball. I could do, do without it. <laughs> man, that is, that is Epcot. That that. Oh man, is, I love that. It ride. is, but it is, but I can do without it. So, I can go right up. I can go right right up under it and keep walking. <laughs> well, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad that you mentioned tasting all different foods from all different places because tuna and milk is probably <laughs> one of the most coveted cuisines in all of um <laughs> So <laughs> it was guys this was amazing having you on the show. I can't express enough how much it means to me and the love I want to show you guys and I know that you guys open your hearts to so many people and that is just not it's rarely found. So you keep on doing what you do. I'm going to keep on doing what I do. And I know that at some point, Adamson's, Diz Jabbers, we're all going to figure out a way where we're going viral. And then all of a sudden, Disney yes. Famous is going to be on our doorstep. Yes. Not yes. all those other Orlando people who can go there every single day. Yeah. <laughs> but let me say this. Let me say this. When you came in as our 400 subscribers, who knew that we would build a bond and a family like we have built through the, I call it the Diz Jab fam. I call it the Diz Jab fam. And you guys are like family to me because you, I mean, we meet different people that are Disney related and yeah. love Disney and everything like that. But you don't meet those people, you know, that don't have the crab in a bucket mentality. You're out there, you see sub for sub, or you yep. know, if you do this for me, I'll do this for you, and that kind of thing. You, you never did that, Christian. You was like, hey, I just need you to do an outro for my, for me or whatever. Reach for the sky, and we did it. And I mean, your personality. You are very loving, very you know, easy to communicate with i mean we just love you to death and we appreciate you just welcoming us into it <laughs> i ain't gonna tell y'all how much he paid me to say all of this but <laughs> he sent the script two days ago <laughs> no but for real for real we love you to death i mean that's why we're on every friday night to your disney trivia i'm learning a lot there i play for fun and no one in the this jab fam ever put you down or ever say what it's all in love all in fun and we so enjoy it so christian this job is 71 you reach for the sky keep doing what you're doing and i mean there is no doubt in our minds that you are going to be disney famous and we are going to be right there supporting you just like we're supporting you now Okay, so this is the first time I've almost ever come to tears. Almost. <laughs> I cry more in my vlogs. People will tell you. I'm like, oh, it's so many about you. I got that <laughs> going on. <laughs> just, uh, just like all the other vloggers out there that I have brought together, like people, I honestly, and not to like toot my own horn or anything, but I get lots of messages from people saying, Christian, you put this family together. Yes. Without your trivia nights, without you coming together, making this Instagram group, without you doing the Diz Jabbers Challenge, all these things that you have done has, has brought together this, has made, we've made our own community. Yeah. We have Absolutely. our people that are always there on Friday nights. We have the people who are always at premieres and we're always there for each other. You guys, yeah. you sent me, I was in Disney and you sent me the um, message to do the anniversary thing. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. and I did it. With, I think I was in front of the Garden Grill. Yep, at yep. Epcot, right? Like, yep. 
anybody else might have been like, I don't want to do that. What are they? But because it was you guys, I was just like, I was honored. You know what I mean? Like some people might be like, oh, they're just trying to get people. No, I felt honored. I'm like, they really want to share this and I want to share this with them. Thank you. Like I said, it was just, I'm all about paying it forward, spreading and sharing the love. And you guys, honestly, like I said, if I get Disney famous, I do not forget where my roots are. I know what it's like to have 150 subscribers, Instagram messaging people. Hey, you know what? I have a Disney channel. Check it out. Pounding that pavement. But I feel like when you're where I am, which is like what? 2000 subscribers, which is not where all these other people are. And it's not, I mean, I'm not bottom of the barrel, but the thing is I'm not done yet. Like I feel like there's so much more out there and there's so much more to do. And I Mm want to take you with me. I want to take little big vlogs with me. I want to take like, we're ready. There's, there's enough room. I mean, there's, don't get me wrong. Disney vloggers are a dime a dozen out there. There's so many people doing it, yeah. but you have to do it in a way that people will still come back to you. Yeah. And I feel like that's what I do. I feel like that's what you guys do with your back to basics with family. We all have our own niche. You know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. and we just do what we do. We're going to keep grinding and I can't thank you enough for being here tonight. I know it's late. I want you guys to get to bed. And well, you're probably like, go to bed. I'm going to, I'm going to ream Kenny out because these answers he should have known. Uh. (laughs) Poor Kenny. You know what? Maybe the punishment should be some tuna in milk. What do you think? Tuna in milk. Listen, listen. I just want to say when we did that challenge, that particular challenge was the best and the worst one, meaning, I mean, it was the best, it was most creative, but it was the, it was the worst tasting, <laughs> but we did it for you. We did it for you. <laughs> and you said that too, Kenny, you said that <laughs> after she said, Lord, you help me help it get, help it down. And then he's like, we did this for you, Dischavers. <laughs> but of course I read the underlying meaning like, oh, wait till I meet you, buddy. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. <laughs> All right, Dischavers, it is that time of night. We are going to log off and do the quick sign off so from diz jabber 71 studios and georgia am i right yep georgia see i knew it diz jabber 71 and the adamson crew yeah out hi diz jabbers this is alicia and kenny a small portion of the adamson crew all the way from georgia and we're here to tell you to reach for the sky reach for the sky